Okay, it goes without saying this is a very difficult day uh, for the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department. Let me also say, out of respect for the families of our two fallen firefighters, and out of respect for the family that we call the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department, please respect our distance for the next few hours, if not the next few days. I will leave at your full disposal uh, our PIO, Lieutenant Matt Hertzfeld, and timely updates will come through him. But I ask you, please, for tonight, especially, please respect our, our space and our distance. Today at 2.47 p.m., a regular alarm complement was dispatched to a structure fire at 528 Magnolia Street. And at that fire, Private Stephen Lashinsky, age 42, with almost 16 years of service, and Private James Dickman, 31 years of age, with approximately six months of service, both of whom were assigned to Engine 3, entered the structure to begin firefighting efforts. It was in the course of these efforts that Private Lashinsky, Private Dickman, suffered fatal injuries. After what could be described as valiant efforts to help their fellow firefighters, they removed them from the structure and began immediate care and life-saving measures. Then they were then immediately transported to St. Vincent's Medical Center where those efforts continued. As dictated by the fire department policy, formal and detailed investigation will take place and many agencies will be involved. So we will get down to the bottom of what happened today. The young men and women of the Toledo Fire and Rescue Department would like to thank you for your understanding and your support of us at this very difficult time. This concludes my statement for this evening. And again, I, I thank you in advance for respecting our wishes as far as space and time. Thank you. The mayor would like to say the you. Mr. It's truly a tragic event. Fire and police service are what tempers life and what makes quality of life. The differential is those who are engaged in public service ironically take a different path. They run into harm's way as opposed to running away from harm's way. The family of the firefighters that were tragically sacrificed today as a result of their profession must always be remembered. And I would ask in terms of that memory that we signify the importance of the service that both fire and police, and in this particular day, fire, by asking the community to lower their flags effective tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock to half mast. And please, for our Toledo community, please, please keep those families, the extended families of the police officers and firefighters the administration and the leadership in your prayers because truly the next few days are going to be very challenging and difficult and without your prayers that would compound our struggles to get through them. Thank you very much.